Mm. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm back and what's up? You didn't see that coming, did you? Let me sit straight. And for today's video, we'll be making a beret and a man bag made out of leather. Oh, and if you noticed, um, I did that. So, <laughs> if you're wondering where is that leather come from, well, I'll tell you that story. Um, One day, I went outside and I was like, "Yo, I haven't really went inside our garage." I looked at my surroundings and I started to question myself: Why am I outside? What am I doing here? I was supposed to throw the trash. So I did throw the trash. And as I went back, I said to myself, You know what? Let me get in in this garage. I tried to open the door only to see this mess. Don't wanna let you out my head. Don't even tell me you haven't saw that video yet. That video literally haunts me till this day. And so I entered the garage, and I was like, Okay, I see you. I went to the corner and saw these three trash bags laying on the ground. And I was like, Hmm, this could be spicy. I couldn't open the bags, so y'all best believe I came prepared. So I took out my scissors, and please don't ask me why I have my scissors with me. <laughs> After cutting them open, I saw these two pillows with, I don't know, fabric and leather combos. I started to examine the pillows and I was like, hmm, I can make something spicy out of these. In which, spoilers, I did. <laughs> I seam ripped the pillow so I could take the leather out of it. After that, I sure did throw them bad boys in the tub. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't really through, but anyways, I cleaned the leather with water and soap. I didn't put them in the washer because you don't want to destroy your leather, do you? After that, I hang them up so it could dry and I wiped them a little bit because there was a bubbles on it so it would dry faster. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, we're back with that. These are the pattern that I draw on, you guessed it, on my math notebook. Here's for the beret and for the handbag. And these are the leathers all dried up. Also, these are my pattern. Um, this is just for the handbag because its shape is kind of complicated. But I needed a shape to cut out. So, yeah. Starting up with the beret. I lay down the leather so I could trace the pattern. Now, for the beret part, which is the circle, we're going to be needing like a circular shape for us to trace with. It could be a plate or a bowl. Oh, oh, in which I have in my head. <laughs> so I'll be using this. That was my brother, but anyways. I traced two circles on the leather and then proceed to cut We're it. We're back and I cut out the patterns here and we're gonna be moving on to the sewing. First up, you're going to be needing to put the pieces on the tray and then put it inside the oven. Wait for it to be cooked. Well, not really cooked, but please don't do that, please. <laughs> Okay, okay, I was just playing, but I actually sewed the two circular pieces together and then attached the headband to it. I made small cuts on the seam allowance of the circle piece just so it could have a nice shape when opened. Lastly, I added that th little thing that goes on top of the beret, I don't know what it's called, but that's my finishing touch for the beret. Hi, I'm back. So we've finished the beret and now we're gonna move on with the bag. This is the leather that's still left. We still have a decent amount of it. We can make this through 
and I'll be laying the pattern down on the leather and I'll be cutting it so that we could sew and move on. As I was tracing the pattern, I realized how much pressure I put in myself doing this project. I literally have like unfinished homework set to do. But what am I doing with it? Absolutely nothing. Okay, maybe I was exaggerating with that. I actually do my homeworks at night. <laughs> We're gonna be sewing the straps first and we'll be attaching the straps to the front panel of the bag and the back panel of it. I sewed the strap in place and then I added the D-ring. Yeah, it's called D-ring. It's like the buckle, like, uh, I don't know what's what it's supposed to I'm so confused right now, but yeah, it's called D-ring and you'll see later on <laughs> Next is I sew the back panel of the bag and at this point You're probably bored by now and here's a little pop quiz for you. So enjoy Hi, I'm Justin and I am your host for today's pop quiz. And I have my iPad that doesn't work I have a ruler for absolutely nothing and I'm wearing glasses just for my credibility. So our question is, in what era did the so-called shoulder bag started to popularize? Is it A, Y2K era, B, the hippie era, or C, James Charles's problematic era? If your answer is C, you're absolutely incorrect. Jail time for you. Well, the correct answer is B, the hippie era. Back to you, Swag Life. And we're back. And if you choose the correct answer, please leave a comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> this part, I'm sewing the front and back panel of the bag. And then we'll move on putting the lining. Ah! <laughs> so in making the lining, I just traced the pattern that I did for the bag and put it inside. Ah, hi, I'm back. Look at my fingers. They are very red because of the force of pinching. Oh no, this is from the marker. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a fake news. Um, it's getting dark now and... I finished the liner, line, no, not liner, lining inside. So this is the front, looks like this. Ooh. This is from a keychain, like this thing. This is from a keychain, I just took it and then I put it in here. So this is like the thing that closes. And this is what it looks like inside. Next is we're gonna attach the handle on the bag. So, so I sewed the handle in place and I made the handle adjustable. To wrap up this bag, I then attached a zipper to the opening. 